Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got a quick mixer tutorial for you. It's gonna be using Mixplay, and we're gonna be adding a donation button on your panels and make the button do stuff. It's pretty easy to do, and there's a little bit of prep work that needs to be done for it, but I'm not gonna go into that. I made a big tutorial series right before this that tells you how to make tons of interactive buttons, menus, VIP rooms, a bunch of stuff like that, and I'll link that in the description below. So we're just gonna kind of jump right into it and I'll try to you know touch on some basics for you and you know just in case you didn't watch any of the other ones and we'll go from there. So I have Mixer loaded up and we have our tutorial scene with our buttons. It has a main menu, casual viewer, we can go back, hit an air horn, we can have a patron only menu, which I haven't programmed that up. I just showed you how to do it. And then we're also using Firebot to do all that. And so what we want to do is make a little donation button right here and we're going to use like a cash symbol or something like that. So if you have an image hosting website that you like, I use Imager. What you can do is Photoshop a button or download a button, put it on Imager and then click it and then go to direct link and let's copy that for future use. So back on Mixer, if we load up a new tab, click your name up here in the top right and go down to DevLab. And depending on your browser, you can middle click DevLab and it'll open it up in a new tab. In here, we can go to Mixplay Projects at the top left. And then we can do our Mixplay Project. You could select yours. I'm gonna use Tutorial because that's what I've put all these buttons on. And then we're gonna go to Build at the top left. And then we're gonna see our panels and our windows, everything here. So what we wanna do is click the plus sign up at the top right next to controls. We're gonna add a button. We're gonna call this donate, hit add, and then select the arrow to the right to edit the data. For text, we're just gonna put a space so it's blank. Spark cost, we're gonna keep that at zero. Keyboard control, we'll leave it blank. Tooltip will be like, thanks for donating. And then we will make the, let's do a border color so we can let people know it's an actual button. Let's do like green or something like that. And then background image, we're gonna paste that link, the direct link that we copied earlier. And then we just click the X right here and that saves it. Drag and drop it into place. I like to make my buttons perfect squares, so let's make this big square. Hit save at the top right. Now go over to Firebot. And then what we wanna do is we can disconnect it, we are connected. Change board at the top, and then resync board. And you'll see it adds our donate button. Hit sync again, and then let's reconnect it. Now let's go back to Mixer. And we're gonna see our donate button. Thanks for donating. We can click and it doesn't do anything yet, so we're gonna go ahead and program that up. So in Firebot, we're gonna go to the donate button, hit edit. So I don't know if there's a way to make these buttons link to websites. So what I do is chat and whisper it to the user who clicked it and put the link for the donation in there. So what we could do is go to new effects, search for a new effect, chat, and we're gonna say, we're gonna tell it what we wanted to chat. We can do either the streamer chats or the bot chats it. And I have my bot logged in right here. So I'm gonna have the bot say it. Now we're gonna type out a message. And then right here, we're gonna paste our donation link. And then what I like to do is I like to whisper this to the user individually. And you can do that by selecting the whisper box and then type it in their username, which you can use it to autofill the username of who pressed the button using these text variables. If you go to show text variables, go to general, you can see if you put dollar sign user, then it's going to whisper to whoever pressed that button and not, it's not gonna spam the chat. So then we hit add, and now it whispers there. But if you want also, you can add a couple little flares to this too. So like, what I like to do is put a little cache sound effect, maybe like a cache drawer. We do new effect, then we do sound. Choose our file. I have a cache register sound right here. Let me drop this down. So if anybody presses that button, then it's going to display the sound for everybody to hear. Maybe we do it to volume one, hit add. And then we can also say if we wanted to entice people and make, you know, have them press the button, you can do another chat and say, user just pressed the button. And so that'll get displayed to everybody that that person just pressed that button or we didn't even have to put their name. We just put a generous viewer. Just press that button, hit save. 
So we do all of that, hit save changes. If we press the donate button, let me hide this. If we click this donate button, it's gonna whisper, my bot's gonna whisper to me, thanks for considering donation, here's the link, and then you can click it. Now sometimes if you have your bot saying multiple things at the exact same time, it can get confused and not show up. So I like to send these different chats as different users, maybe like what, this one is me, I say the streamer, and I say a generous viewer just press the cash button, then I hit save, save, and if we press the donate button, my account will say a generous viewer just press the button, and then my bot will whisper to them, thanks for considering a donation, here's a link to the donate, and they can click that, and it'll load up the donation page. And that right there is the easiest way to add a donation button to your Mixplay project on Mixer. If that helped you out, throw a like and subscribe because that'll help me out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Just a heads up, these are my current patrons. They all support me for a dollar a month. It's very cheap and you can too. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell notification next to the subscribe button because that notifies you whenever I pump out a new video. And if you're the first person to comment on the video, you get a special shout out in my next video. So thanks again for watching.